from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're in West Texas with Rayhan Nana and Steve Snell as they gear up for what's promising to be a winter whirlwind of a quail hunting experience. We're down here hunting blue quail. I've hunted them once before. Those birds have just given me the slip. They're an infuriating little bird. They'll run on you. They don't sit like normal quail or like bobs. The blue quail, as we call them, are really an orphan stepchild in the bird dog hunting world because they, they don't behave like bobs. And too many people are disappointed and frustrated because they think that they can lollygag around and walk up there and those blues are gonna be there. That ain't blue quail. They are a species that prefers to run as opposed to a bobwhite or what most people think of when you're quail hunting is, is a covey species that sits tight, holds well for dogs. Generally not the case for blue quail. They prefer to run and they, they'll uh, give a dog and a hunter fits out here. They're a very challenging kind of game bird and, and those of us that I call blues brothers, we respect them for what they are and we enjoy hunting them. I kind of say like native birds, when you're hunting native birds, they've been here forever, you're on their turf. Uh, so they've kind of got the advantage. As Ray Han will say, with any kind of bird hunt, the most important thing is to drop the tailgate, drop the dogs, and start walking. While the team begins their quest to get on these legendary Texas blue quail, let's take a look at the new Garmin Alpha 200i they'll be using to navigate the land and to keep track of their dogs. Hi, I'm Ray Han. I want to tell you today about the Alpha 200i. It's the newest addition to Garmin's tracking and training dog units. One of the first things you're going to notice is a larger 3.5 inch screen that has sunlight readable display. So on bright days like this out in Texas, you can still see everything perfectly. One of the things that I've always appreciated is Garmin creating ecosystems of products. So this is not a standalone right here. It lives within the ecosystem and you can pair it to different compatible devices. For example, the Instinct has a dog tracking widget so you can sync this unit into your watch. So if you didn't want to have this hand held out, you could put it away and track your pack directly off of your watch. With the Alpha 200i, you have the ability to track up to 20 dogs out to nine miles. But if you're hunting with multiple people at different times, instead of having to delete collars in, add collars in, there's inactive collars so you can turn collars off or you can sync in different groups. With the different groups, somebody can share their group of dog collars to you so you don't have to individually add them in. Everything in the outdoors goes perfectly to plan until it doesn't. Enter InReach. InReach technology is a two-way SMS communication device that allows you global coverage to message anybody anywhere in the world. It also has SOS capabilities, so if, God forbid, something happens, you break your leg out here, and you need to get help, you can trigger an SOS, and anywhere in the world, local authorities will come and get you. New to the Alpha 200i is a directed device bird's eye download mapping. So right here on the screen, you'll see bird's eye direct. And when you're on wireless, you have the ability to connect to that and download maps specific to where you're at. If you look around right now, everything pretty much looks the same from this view, but from bird's eye, it can be completely different, and that can make or break a hunt. The 200i is backwards compatible, so you can transfer data from your previous devices to this device. Also, battery life on this is going to be 20 hours or 15 hours if you're using it in in-reach mode. If you want to learn more about the Alpha 200i, visit Garmin.com. Ray Han and Steve are not too far along into their first day of quail hunting here in West Texas, but already these birds are living up to their challenging reputation. Jack, whoa! We got eyes on that other dog. All the dogs up here, down. Whoa! Come on up, Ray. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! There, there they go. go. There they go. All right, there could be some in here. Right. Jack. Go right up through there. You see that dog on the right? He's not backing. Nice shot. Uh, watch him down. Did you see which way he went down? Yeah. 
I want to say he went down right in here, but in that clearing, I didn't get a real good look at him. Hey, come here. What do you think? Yeah, this stuff will just swallow a bird up. Yeah, yeah, they're hard to find if you don't stone cold kill them. Native birds. Yeah, they're tough. My buddy has this theory that it's like if within the first, you know, 30 yards of a hunt, you, you, know, you stone a pheasant. Yeah. It's going to be a horrible hunt for the rest of the time. So I figure we're starting kind of on the opposite end of it. So it's going to be a great hunt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. I have heard that theory. We'll see how it goes. Come on, Jack. Stick around. The dogs are hot on the trail of these quail and closing in on more cubbies when we come back. Before the road trips, the cool mornings, the hot cast iron, the short nights, and the long cast. There's one stop that you can't afford to miss. It's time to gear up and camp out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Save on all your camping essentials, in store and online. Your adventure starts here. Trade hours for seconds. Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor, the DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Ray Han and Steve are wasting no time continuing forward as the dogs have swiftly picked up on the scent of a new covey of quail. He kind of looks like he's staring. There he is. Nice shot. Thank you. Bird down. We got two down. Where's the second bird? I got one got bird one right on this here. Side, one on this side. Moose! Dad in here. They both look like they were stoned. I had to mark this one right here. I don't yeah, know where the other one is. Yours is right is. here. Moose! If you see him, grab it. Yeah. Moose! All right, I got one over here. I got one right here. Here he is. <laughs> Steve, nice shot. Hey, thank you. So that's. It's a native bird of Texas. It's a scale quail, known as a cotton top. Live out here. This is my first one ever. Just a beautiful bird. One of the six species of quail in the United States. You know, great. I mean, 15 minutes into the hunt here, I can't believe this happened. I've, for the past year, I've been trying to get back after these birds. I had a, a really tough hunt on them last year, and so here we are. This is the thing I find incredible about quail. It's like any one of the species when you look at them, it's like they can blend in so well oh, to their... Look at that. I mean, the coloring matches perfectly from that side. Well, see, we got lucky on both of those. Both of those birds were dead before they hit the ground, you know? And with blues, if you don't hammer them, um, you know, they're, they're, they'll escape. I got to shake your hand. That's the... Is that your first blue? That's my first blue. Well, I mean, first blue that I've got in hand, I should say. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Texas, and this is one of the great things about this 200i unit. The I stands for inReach, and uh, I promised my buddy I'd tell him if I got a quail down. We got it down, so I was able to send a message directly from the unit, directly from the 200i, and uh, you know, so he knows that and you know, it just went through. So he's going to be back in Kansas City being pretty green right now with Envy. 
While Rayhan and Steve pursue these birds, let's take a deeper look into the new in-reach feature on the Alpha 200i. One of the newest features that I'm most proud about with the Alpha 200i is the in-reach capabilities. In-reach is a two-way SMS communication device that also has SOS capabilities. You're gonna notice it right here, the IR, and when you go into it, you're gonna see a few different options. One, there's messages, so no matter where you are in the world, you have global coverage, you have the ability to send a message directly to your device. You can send it to anybody, whether it be email, phone, or another in-reach user. You can type directly from there. All you need to do is press new message, type message, type in who you're gonna to go to in your message and hit send. One of the other things you're gonna notice right there is SOS. If you hit that button, it's gonna trigger an emergency beacon to GIOS, which is a global emergency services. They're gonna then send a message to a local authority so no matter where you are in the world, you're gonna be able to get picked up, get out of a dangerous situation if you are in one. You can either trigger it here or on this button, you lift it and press that button there. Also, it pairs into the Garmin Explore app and what this will do is it Bluetooths in and you have the ability to pull contacts and text directly off of your phone. The Explore app also has mapping and gives you the ability to see tracks, waypoints, and other things. So you can throw this in the pack and operate just off of this if you want to go with the inReach or tracking or anything with that side. Whoa, whoa! Just walk right through. Got it. Oh, that's it up. That's dead bird right over there. Jack, here. Come here, son. Here. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Bring it to me. Oh, that's close. Let's find this one. I got him up here. Look at that. This is blue quail number two. I can't believe it. You know, pretty little bird, understated little bird. And calls this place its home. I mean, I just can't get over it. I've been thinking about this for a year. I, you know, I, I missed a couple last year and they've just been eating away at me. And so for it to just come together like this, it's pretty incredible. That bird brings this afternoon of hunting blue quail in Texas to a close. In one of the most dramatic weather shifts we've seen, tomorrow's forecast calls for a winter storm blowing through with the possibility of three to eight inches of snow blanketing the ground. When we return, we'll see what this new development means for our hunters and whether or not the team will have a new found advantage or if these native birds will continue to live up to the challenge. To me, the Performance Center by Smith & Wesson means taking the best and making it better. Regardless if I'm passing on the traditions of hunting or teaching someone new about the outdoors, I know that using a Performance Center handgun will be something they will remember for the rest of their lives. Every model comes with an awesome trigger. They're reliable in all the conditions, as well as offering a variety of sight and scope mounting capabilities. The Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. The Thompson Center Compass II. A feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with generation two trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers. From the range, to the fields, to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. From the backwoods to the backyard, Sawyer's Permethrin odorless insect repellent repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. High-vis shooting systems. See what you've been missing. Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Apparently, we're going to be quail hunting in the snow in Texas, which I didn't think was possible. But here we are. Uh, I was joking with Steve where I can't tell if we're in Texas, North Dakota, or Minnesota at this point. But 
I'm actually really excited to see how blue quail, you know, they're known for running. I'm interested to see if that changes it at all with this snow, if they hold a little bit tighter, if they act more like bobs where they're, you know, they keep in their covey a bit and hold. I'm hoping that's the case. That will give us kind of the advantage out here, but to be determined, so long as my hands don't freeze. Now, before setting off into this winter flurry, Ray Han and Steve are taking safety precautions and running through the pairing of their Alpha 200i devices. All right, so you go into dog list, and then you got to select the people tab here. Yep. Hey, Till. All right, and we're going to pair. All right, so you need to select add on yours. Yep, hang on. Pair handheld. Handheld has been added as a contact. And then for me to do yours, I'm gonna pair. Yeah, I hit add. You got it? We're good to go. So now he can track me and I can track him, so that way if we get separated for any reason, it shows up and we'll be able to track one another. Whoa, whoa. Good shot, Rayon. Thank you. I think that was a team effort. Wow. Touch it up. <laughs> so, I didn't, everyone was sitting in the snow. It was going to be horrible. Here we are. We're in the birds already. I uh, saw them running. So the theory of them holding real tight uh, maybe isn't as good. But, gosh, I don't know. I mean, that dog was down for probably five minutes holding those birds. So hopefully more things to come here. Due to the intensity of the snowfall, recovering this downed bird becomes near impossible. The guys decide it's a good time to follow their Garmin GPS units back to the trucks and wait out the storm until it passes. In the meantime, let's learn more about the enhanced mapping features available on the Alpha 200i. The mapping capabilities on the 200i are incredibly robust. To go into it, you can see a couple of the different functionalities here. Right now, I'm using bird's eye. Unlike the Alpha 100, the 200i has bird's eye direct that you can download via Wi-Fi directly to this device. So this is great because you can see exactly where you're hunting, you know, out in country like this. From this view, it looks pretty much just the same, but when you look at it from the top, completely different. If you'd like, you can also add hunt view chip cards to the 200i like you could with the Alpha 100 or other compatible devices, giving you a larger in-depth look at your mapping capabilities. To turn or customize your maps, go to Map Setup, Configure Maps, and you can scroll through which ones you want or don't want on at a given time. Also, the 200i has federal public land boundaries on it, so you can know whether or not you're on or off public land. The worst of the winter storm has passed and left behind a thick layer of snow canvassing the ground, disturbed only by shoe prints and paw prints abound. Using a waypoint on the Alpha 200i, the team was able to locate Ray Han's bird once the snow had settled. Joining us for the latter half of our hunt is wildlife biologist, Jesse Wood. We're hunting in West Texas. This is uh, in the Permian Basin in a transition area uh, where it transitions from the Edwards Plateau into the Trans-Pecos regions of Texas. It's just a unique area. As I mentioned, it's a transition zone. So you have a, a change or a transition in plant and wildlife species, kind of a unique area. We have both mule deer and white-tailed deer. We also have scaled quail and a few bobwhite quail, not a lot. But it's just a unique area. It's, a, it's arid, like much of West Texas is, but it's just a, a fun area to hunt. Woo! Burn. Woo. Good shot. Thank you. Bird down. On it. Dead. That away. I don't think he's getting away. Nice find wow, there. Nice find. Thank okay. you, Steve. There you go. Nice. Appreciate it. I know this is entirely, there's probably no way to answer this, but it's like, what do you think average size covey is in this part of the world? It's not uncommon to, to run into coveys that are 25 to 30 birds. Um, now that's going to be in a, in a really good year. And you may even run into some coveys. I've seen as many as 50 in a covey. Uh, but typically it's probably going to be, you know, a good solid covey is going to be around 20 birds. All right, see if we can find some bird dogs. Moose is out there cruising right now. Stay tuned. We're wrapping up day two of our Texas blue quail hunt when we return.
Others decock. We do it safely. The new AccuSlide safe decocking system revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Meet the new Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 featuring the AccuSlide. Speed up to 440 feet per second by 0.8 inches wide. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 from 10 point. I love my Fusion wireless camera. It's the easiest cell cam I've ever set up. Download the command app. Scan the QR code. Everything is done on your phone. All kinds of affordable and different data plans. For as little as $5 a month, you can have your trail cam pictures sent right to your cell phone. You can go into the app, you can change all the camera settings, you can change all the upload settings, and it's got a feature where you can map out where your cameras are. It shows you when the activity has been in front of your cameras. Check it out, the Fusion wireless camera from Stealth Cam. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Angle the original high-performance cooler. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, proven. Outdoor Action TV, stream your favorite shows. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Now, before we get back to the field, let's take a look at how dog owners can pair their dog devices with the Garmin Alpha 200i. The 200i is going to run on a TT15, TT15 Mini, T5, or T5 Mini. Similar to the Alpha 100, what you're going to want to do is press and hold the power key on the dog device until you hear a beep and the green light starts flashing. From there, you're going to want to take your 200i handheld, go into Dog List, Add a Dog, Pair Collar, enter in your dog's name, hit the check mark, and there you go, you're ready to go hunt. You'll also notice on here I have two other dogs and they're inactive. At any time you can have up to 20 collars on this in play at any given one time. But here you can have more dogs in there that are inactive. So my dog back home, her collar's not active right now, but if I wanted to get her in, hit that, active, and there you go. The other nice thing is you can group dogs. So Hunting out here, if you're hunting with a buddy, they can wirelessly send you their collar codes and it'll automatically sync into this device. You can also put those collars into different groups and make them active or inactive. The benefit to this is that you can have more than 20 collars into this system without having to delete or add them at any given time. Getting back to the hunt, Steve's pointer, Jack, is retrieving a blue quail downed moments ago. What you got there? Juvenile. Male or female? Male? Yep, that's All a male. Right. What's that make? a male. If you hold it up next to the other one, you can really tell. Oh, man. Didn't get skunked. Did not get skunked. Thank <laughs> goodness. Nice shot. The first one was just a warning shot. That's you know. always important. That's a female. See how subtle that is, though? I was about to say, OK. So. Very subtle. See that? Wow. You have to have them, I mean, not I always. About say, I was about to say, so you're talking about just the little brown streaks. Just the little right brown there, streaks. That's it. That's it. Wow. Because so, when I picked it up, I was like, it's got a female. Yeah. And that one's been around a little while, at least a year. Yeah. What are we doing here? Tucked in tight. There he is. Nice. Wow. Good boy. That's what I'm talking that about. That was here. about as perfect as it gets. Good boy. Here. Yeah, so today I had a great time. Got to hunt with Ray Han and also Steve. And we put a good long walk in, made a big loop for blue quail. We're able to get into a couple of coveys, had some pretty good dog work. And of course, as blue quail usually do, we had more give us a slip than not. 
So great hunt, enjoyed the dog work, and, and of course enjoyed the company. To be honest with you all, I wasn't planning to come to Texas and hunt in the snow, but here we are, soaked to the bone right now. But hey, I kind of like it. I'm from you know Midwest. I kind of got excited because I always say it's like quail hunting gets good when the first snow hits. And so maybe the locals don't like it, but I'm a fan of it. While our Texas blue quail hunt comes to an end, Ray Hahn has a few more closing statements on how Garmin pays attention to their customers and develops products essential to delivering positive user experiences to the avid outdoorsman. I always say there's two types of technology in the outdoors. There's technology that hampers an outdoor experience and technology that enhances an outdoor experience. When you look at something like the Alpha 200i, that's something that's going to completely enhance an outdoor experience and all for positive, you know, between keeping track of our dogs, keeping track of where we are, you know, being able to reach out to people, mapping everything. It's all right here in this little 3.5 inch screen. So, I mean, doesn't get much better than that. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. God made a deer farmer, a person who stays up at night to save a sick fawn's life, gets up and still goes to work at sunrise. This person works in the heat, the cold, and the rain. He needs to feed his animals, make sure they have water. If the water's frozen, he must break it so they can drink. He needed somebody to collect real scents and smells from deer, to provide hunting scents to the hunters so they could feed their families. So, God made a deer farmer.